I want to thank the uh, Salt Lake Council, the council members, my friends I haven't, have some, I haven't seen in a while, but it's always good to see you guys. I just want to leave you with a real quick message. I was really blessed to grow up at a time in which the, the key factor to the success of my community back in the 60s, days of KKK, Jim Croy, and segregation, was optimism. We had parents who believed in discipline, believed in respect, believed in the four tenets that we find so prevalent here in Utah, faith, family, the free market, and education. And because of that, we had a chance to understand something called meritocracy. That is, you work harder, you run harder, you study harder than anybody else, you will command their respect. That's what we have here. I, I look around the room and I see how, how the friendships have been developed over time. And it's because we see inside out, not outside in. Uh, uh, Pastor Ryan, I just really appreciate what you do, your message. Uh, but it's, it's, it's consistent with the way our, our state is and, 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 our, and our, our great country. One little, little, one little thing I want to make sure, and I always make this point, <clears throat> it's important to know our history. It's important to know that throughout the history of our country, we've become a, a country that believes in a more perfect union, that we continue to work at striving to be a better person tomorrow, the next day, to do something for our kids and our, our legacy. And to that point, uh, I, I have to always highlight the success of my parents' generation, my grandparents' generation, that did not have the options we have today, the, 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 the choices, the freedom, the opportunities, but they made the most of everything they were given. They believed in those four tenets I just mentioned, and because of it, keep this in mind, the 40s, 50s, and 60s, it was a black community that led our country to growth and build class. Because they believed in property. They believed in uh, leaving something for their kids. The black community led our country in men matriculating in college because they believed that education was their gateway. And the harder they studied, the more they could articulate their thoughts, the more they can take those opportunities and, and take risk and run businesses. They led our country in the percentage of, of, of entrepreneurs because we had to. We, were, they, we had to become self-sufficient and show everyone we can do this within our community. So in my, my community as a, as a kid, what did I see? I saw Perkins Service Station. Baker's Pharmacy, Speed Grocery Store, a black, a, a hospital of black doctors, black nurses, engineers, plumbers, and the message to every single person that watched them do their thing, you live in America, young man, you can do anything you want to. Work hard, respect people, learn to love people through service, and they will love you back. They'll pull for you. That is the American way. And I tell you, Utah has done it better than any other state in the union. I want to say that again. We do something that's very unique. Many of us raise our kids from 18, 19 years old. We do something no other, no other culture does. We send them someplace nobody wants to visit, and we celebrate. <laughs> and then we celebrate when they come back two years later. <laughs> because we know when they come back, they come back a much better person. One with empathy, one with, one with respect, one with understanding how great this country truly is. So let's teach our kids optimism. Let's make sure that's our mission. Let's make sure that we think about, that we focus on the past or future. The future is always where our, where our dreams will lie, where we'll become much better people. And we can leave a legacy. And I hope their legacy is like mine. My legacy, my goodness. If I can leave my kids in a better place than I was, with smarter than I was, more wiser than I was, treating people better than I treated, if I can do that, then that will be a legacy worth, worth living for. So let's do that, my friends. And let's also appreciate this remarkable state we have. Let's never take it for granted. Let's continue to build on what we're doing. And the leadership, uh, I, I can't say enough about how well we, we work together. We collaborate. We think outside the box. We, we're, we're, we're risk takers. And at the same time, we might have differences in some ways we, go, we do go about it, but together we want to make sure our state is a better place and our country is a better place. That's what we have in common. So I'm so thankful to be considered part of this group of leaders that really care about this great state and going to do everything we can to make sure we can move this forward. So thank you so much. Thank you, my friends. Good seeing everybody again, for sure. And uh, I'm going to have to hit the Logan. <laughs> so uh, we'll see you guys later, okay?